Okay, uh, today I'm going to be showing you how to create an effect size fader. So, uh, it's what Christian Jackson uses and everyone's asked about. So it's pretty, look, before you can actually start, there's a couple things you need to do. Make sure you're on a page I'm going to be using for this example, I'm on fader 2. Because you're going to be putting what I refer to as the master fader here and then you're pr putting your, inver your inverted with a remote input setup. But I'll explain that later. So the first thing you want to do is make sure you don't have any shortcuts on if you use them because you will be typing and then you're going to want to make sure you're not running anything so as you can see I'm running nothing. Then hit, select the group you want to use, so I'm going to be using beams. So then, so okay so you can see now I've made my selection. Go and run a random effect, so I use this just to, so that I can actually see it is running without having to put on an intensity. The next thing you're going to want to do is just press clear once. Don't press it any more than once because then you'll start clearing stuff out. Just clear your selection. You now need to type in stomp, group, and then whichever group you want to do. So in my case it's group 1, so I'm going to press group 1. Then you're going to press store and put it in an executor. And you can see now it has actually stomped the thing, the effect. So now I'll just label, so I'm just going to label it master. And set the, the the important part is to set this fader to temp fader. If you set it to, if it's not set to temp, it will not work. Put all of these on and give it a super priority. Again, if it isn't on, it won't work. Then you can clear out completely. Now, if I run a let's just run a circle effect quickly, and just go beams three at that, you can see it's now working because it's at it's low. But as I bring it up, it will stop. So if I bring it to up there, you can see it's. Uh, it's got a small, it's got a small one running. So let me actually just slow it down a bit so that it's more noticeable. Uh, there you go. So you can see it's now doing a really small one compared to if it's up, if it's down here, it's obviously do doing a full-sized one. And then as you bring it up, it'll get smaller. So obviously that makes no sense because you know it's the wrong way around. So what we're going to do now is we're going to set up a an a remote input setup for it, so just clear that out completely. So just ping, da, 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 da. sorry, this is my first time recording. So you're gonna want to set up a remote input setup. So just take a note of which executor it is. So it's 2.006. So you're gonna go into setup, and then I hope you know how to make a an inverted fixture. If you don't, go learn that first. Basically, you just get a generic dimmer. Hit edit, go to invert, and flip that to on. It's literally that simple. I've already got one. So you're going to want to patch in whatever you're going to be using. So here's my invert into a universe and DMX address you won't be using. So 100.004. And give it a fixture ID. So I'm just going to give mine 2003 just because. So then once that's done, press uh, yes. You're happy with it. So this is now inverted. So the next step is to go to remote input setup, DMX remote, and new. Your DMX address is 1.100.004. You must take note of that when you're actually doing it. Hit exec, page 2. I've got mine on page 116, but that's optional. Executor 6, and the fader. Now, what you will need to do is clear out again. Fixture 2003, or whatever you saved it at, at it. Store, let's just store it next to here. So then, insert. The next step is to take this, give it a super prior as well, hit all of those, and change this to the temp fader. So now, you, as you can see, if I bring this up, ooh, why isn't it working? Hmm, fuck something up. And I fucked something up. <laughs> uh, let's figure out why this is not working. So it's probably just something to do with the remote input setup. Probably hit the wrong fixture or something. So pattern fixture schedule dummy. 100.004 and it is an invert. Remote input setup, DMX remotes fader. Oh, there we go, my DMX address is wrong. So hit 100.001. So, oh no, it's 100.004, 100.004. Wait, yeah, okay, so that's working fine now. This one, I'm pretty sure it should be three. All right, so now that I've set that up properly, because, you know, mistakes are allowed. You can see it will now be controlling it. So now if I go into just page R, so now if I have a effect running, you can see it's now the smallest it is. But if I go to here, as I bring that to full, it will now be bigger and then 50%. Yeah, so I recommend putting the master on a page you won't be using. I use 116 just because it's the easiest to use. It's out of the way and I'm happy. But you can obviously put it onto three and whatever. If you don't want to set up the remote input setup, you don't have to. 
I would just re recommend it because it's the easiest to do because then you know when it's at full it's a full size effect when it's at zero it is completely stomped um, the big thing to remember though is you must make sure you set your f your master fader to temp and give it a super priority and all of these on and the same applies to the controller one so temp all of these and super priority other than that it's it's com it's very it's very easy to create just remember you don't put your command into the command section of the executor so you don't put it there you have you type it in here hit store and then you're done so if you have any questions leave them in the in the comments down below and I'll try to answer them as quickly as possible and thanks for watching